for this golden summery makeup look. This includes one of my go-to summer colors, which is MAC Woodwing. It's one of my favorite colors in the summertime, especially once you have a little bit of a tan going on. It looks absolutely beautiful all the time. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm taking Painterly Paint Bot by MAC and applying that all over the eyelid as well as underneath the lash line to take out the discoloration in the eye and then setting it with a translucent powder. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is Wedge by MAC and I'm buffing that all over the crease area with a fluffy brush. This is going to be the base of our transition shades. It's really good because it's a very neutral shadow. It's not too cool and it's not too warm. It's somewhere in the middle. So it's good for layering underneath the transition shades and it makes it very fluffy. Fluid. The next shadow I'm taking is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm applying that over top where we applied the previous color. Like I said, we're building up all of these colors so our transition is fluid. So I'm buffing that out really, really well and then going in with Cocoa Bear on a more defined brush to keep the color concentrated in the crease area. The other colors we had roughly blended all over the crease so it was okay if we got it above and below but this color we want to concentrate in that crease area to give it more intensity and depth. Now this is the star of the show. This is Woodwinked by MAC. The most beautiful summer eyeshadow you could ever lay your hands on. Um, this looks great on every skin tone no matter what eyeshadow style you prefer. It's gorgeous especially if you can manage a really nice tan it makes you look even better. So I'm applying that all over the eyelid and then blending it out with a blending brush with just a little bit of Cocoa Bear to keep some definition in the eye. To highlight the brow bone, I used Nylon by MAC. This is a very pigmented eyeshadow, an oldie but a goodie. Um, so I used that for the brow bone, but I also used it to highlight the inner corner of the eye. So I packed that on and then did some eyeliner. I obviously didn't show it, um, but if you guys want to see a tutorial, just let me know and I'll get that done for you. Um, I'm applying some mascara and then a pair of falsies. And then I'll be moving on to the rest of the face. For bronzing, I have been loving this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. You've seen it in so many videos by now. I use it every single day to bronze my face. I love the tone that it has and it complements this eyeshadow very, very well. So I apply that all over the contours of my face, really buffing it out in the hollows of my cheeks, the sides of my temples and along the forehead. Um, along the jawline, anywhere where you would naturally get bronzed. Since this is a super bronzy look, I'm really packing on that bronzer. I want to look like a golden goddess, so bronzer is a must. To contour, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shade and Fawn. As you can see, it gets smaller and smaller. My pen is empty, but obviously I love it. It's a go-to product for me. I use it every single day, all the time. So I'm just using that to contour in the contours of my face, in the hollows of my cheeks, the jawline, the temples, all that jazz. I'm applying my under eye concealer now again because again I forgot to do it before my bronzer. I just get so excited for bronzer these days, I don't get it. So I'm just using this Better Than Skin uh, concealer to highlight and conceal under the eyes. And I'm blending it in with my trusty beauty blender. I've been loving this concealer so far for a drugstore concealer. It reminds me a lot of the Naked Concealer by Urban Decay. Now for blush, I am using the Milani blush in Berry Amore. It adds a beautiful tint and a little bit of glitter as well. And for highlight, I am going to pack on Soft and Gentle by MAC. Packing it on, like really buffing that in. It's going to melt into my skin and my skin will look like it is molten metal. <laughs> I don't know. But this is going to be a super glowy, super bronze extremely highlighted look so I'm applying it all over the high points of my face uh, that being my nose my cupid's bow uh, my cheekbones all that stuff and I'm making sure that it's all blended I don't like a stark highlight so I'm blending it in with the brush that I used for my bronzer without applying any more product to the brush. Next I'm applying Cocoa Bear to the lower lash line I'm blending this out three quarters of the way 
um, across the lash line leaving a little portion where I will add nylon and connect that to the inner corner highlight so it brightens up the eyes. I'm going to be keeping the lips rather neutral and nude so I'm starting off with my trusted lip liner in Whirl and I'm fully going to be filling in my lips this time not just outlining this because I'm going to be going in with a lip gloss. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade literally and applying this all over the lips. This gave a really beautiful shine and plump look to my lips. I'm not the biggest fan of lip glosses. I'm more of a lipstick person but I do appreciate how opaque these colors actually are and if you'd like a full review on the Kylie lip glosses I do have all three so I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. Lastly, I'm just applying some mascara to the lower lash line and that is it. I really love this look. It reminds me of a retro goddess. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!